Hey guys, are you ready? <laughs> like uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels would enter like that. Are you ready? Right, today is gonna be the big video. I wanted to wait until the end of the year, but I figured, you know, I probably have all the fragrances that I need for this list. Uh, a couple of them will be missing because I let go of few fragrances for 2021. These are my top 20 designer purchases, okay? Purchase, sorry. And I have one honorable mention and just 20 straight up designer fragrance of my choice that I bought in 2021. So the condition to be in this list for this fragrance have to be, these are not repeat. Like I repurchased many fragrances this year. Mostly I bought backup bottles or something or finish that I like, like Dylan Blue, a lot of fragrances, Spice Bomb Extreme. These are my backup bottles. But apart from that, the fragrance that I bought for the very first time this year, 2021, and designer uh, side, uh, prices vary, you know, I'll let you know roughly. I have full reviews on each. Uh, so if I am saying are these absolutely the best fragrances that I purchased this year? Yes, absolutely. Are these the best fragrances of all time in designer realm? No. Uh, there are many fragrances, uh, maybe more interesting, better, but 2021, these are my top picks. And these are uh, by ranking in a way, but all these fragrances are stellar because I bought many fragrances this year. Every month I bought quite a few fragrances. Uh, so to be in this list, these have to be special. Okay, so honorable mention, we're going to go with uh, this fragrance is absolutely stunning, but I actually fell in love with many other vetivers. Uh, but this one is a standout fragrance, amazing fragrance, but just didn't make the list for the uh, year. This is Bentley Beyond Collection, and this is called uh, Wild Vetiver. Okay, this is the niche line you can consider of Bentley, absolute quality. The best thing about this fragrance is the push. If you buy this, yeah, you spend a little bit more money on these bottles. These are designed like Bentley car sh headlight shape and the projection longevity is through the roofs and the thing is the peppery quality with that vetiver if you like some top quality vetiver fragrances this is one of them okay so this is the honorable mention today bentley wild vetiver so now let's go from 20 uh, not gonna speak so much of each fragrance i'll just let you know very brief why i picked them first fragrance i'm gonna show you is yes cristiano ronaldo legacy cr7 this is private edition okay this one i told you i was gonna make the list highly likely because this is one of my best purchase of this year why sweet and this is kind of like unique there's nothing i have in this uh in my whole collection of a lot of fragrances that smells like it you know and it's excellent longevity only problem is that you can tell <laughs> the cap it's magnetic but sometimes the thing comes off once in a while yeah it's supposed to look like that and then it has a magnetic top really love it it got a maple sap or something note like it very unique okay very sweet very nice nighttime fragrance if you want to collect a rare fragrance try this christian ronaldo legacy private edition number 20. i'm gonna write down all the names and remember these are not the best performers necessarily i picked out i picked out the best smells okay so number 19 i'm gonna go with uh, this continued gem called valentino vumo aqua this perfume i actually did not want to buy at first reason for me to purchase this this year is that this is discontinued it's gonna get very rare to find and it has that beautiful lipsticky iris but with a touch of freshness so this one longevity impression on the moderate side but the smell is so posh if you like the original valentino vomo uh, you can wear this for summer amazing little perfume with a beautiful little bottle check it out okay and you get 125 ml with this beautiful fragrance valentino vomo aqua that's number 19 number 18 yes all the names that I popped before, they are uh, actually making the list. Salvatore Ferragamo, and I think this is called Intense Leather or something like it. I forget the name all the time, but this is the leather version of the Salvatore by Ferragamo by Salvatore Ferragamo, okay? And the leather version, it got this blue juice. Uh, some people call this the freshy that has a leather uh, overtone or undertone uh, for summer. It's excellent longevity there. And I got a test that so I don't have the cap but really nice looking bottle and this is one of the best releases of recent times most unique and i really enjoy the freshness some people consider this like a like blood chanel vibe definitely you can see some freshness going on there but it's very unique if you like unique perfumes doesn't smell like 10 other fragrances try this out i'll write down the name if i forgot it's i remember it was intense leather or something like it okay uh, salvatore ferragamo ferragamo intense leather i think so okay leather <laughs> uh, so number 17 we're gonna go with the fragrance from Hermes uh, number 17 is a fragrance that I really love and I bought this year I really enjoy this it's not everybody's cup of tea but I love it so this is called Voyage de Hermes or Voyage de Hermes uh, these things are tricky to say cardamom citrus like a fantastic 
combination you know it's like a fresh cardamom if you love the note of cardamom and you like sophisticated fragrances try this one out this hands down is really niche quality and it's very uh, unique uh, this the darker bottle is also nice but i like this for summer days so i have it i'm showing you voyage de hermes voyage de hermes by hermes that's number 17. number 16 you're gonna go with the fragrance i got it when i got it i loved it a lot now i still love it but the love because i bought so many other fragrances this is actually my summer wearing and this fragrance is actually i would suggest to you if you're tired of all the typical blue uh, YSLY and then uh, Savage DNA you can try this this is very interesting release from House of Gucci this is Gucci Guilty Cologne Cologne style fragrance I got this big absolute big 150 ml I think yeah I forget a lot of bottle sizes this check out my review on this this is very unique it's like a, it's very unique it's like a baby powder sort of smell it's kind of like exotic it's kind of like green fresh vibe and doesn't smell like your typical other fragrance it lasts very long time even in winter time you can use it Gucci Guilty Cologne so five gone let's go the next five next one you're gonna go with definitely i have no doubt i love this one but it's not like a standout fragrance but i still like it i bought it just recent times uh, after a lot of yes no yes no but i love it this is azaro wanted by night many of you will agree like this one it it's a crowd pleaser everybody likes it uh this fragrance lasts a long time pushes a lot smells sweet it smells fruity it has this kind of a think tobacco in there i forgot that but it's very nice you know if you like the sweet type of fragrances this is basically good fragrance for winter time okay as are wanted by night after that we're gonna go with tom ford Boudejour. uh this one why why isn't it not my top five many of you will be asking like isn't this the best isn't this like most polished uh fougere modern barber shop yes it is but the next fragrance that i chose is based on the wearings you know i wear this a lot but this one you need particular Time. it's one of the best fragrance tom for ever released and now it's affordable it's from their private blend to designer side so this one is Boudi jour it's kind of got this beautiful fantastic lavender play and even if you hated lavender this lavender will change your mind you know the lavender game just uh, got you know to the next level with this fragrance okay Boudi jour by tom ford next we're gonna go with the fragrance uh, this perfume i am recommending you highly uh, because um, this perfume has some niche quality about it you know it has very green kind of like a dark theme and it just pushes the envelope a lot and i really feel it's a gut gutsy fragrance this is Kevin Herrera bad boy le perfume the original one was more like a cacao sort of like a gourmand safe play this one is not a safe play okay this perfume i just love it so much you know it's like smells like grape grapefruit you know like a mix of fruits and it gets darker and uh, it pushes a lot you know it pushes a lot at night time excellent longevity this one definitely is one of the best buys for me Kevin Herrera bad boy Le Parfum next let's try hitting one more Tom Ford this is an old discontinued fragrance which I bought this year from my brother this is called Tom Ford Noir EDP so this Noir line you know you know Tom Ford Noir Extreme right you have tried Noir Anthracite many other ones this one has an EDT that frosted bottle but this one I just absolutely love the reason being this fragrance it has a dark soapy mysterious quality and it's similar to Prada uh, Prada amber intense but better more complex and uh, creamy long-lasting cut this mild spices very mysterious I just cannot figure out the fragrance all at once but I love wearing this okay for nighttime it's just so sexy nobody smells like you it smells like a really uh, posh and mysterious perfume this is Tom Ford Noir ATP so next one then we hit top 10 next one is gonna be my tin can Dior Sauvage <laughs> this is very cool spray I bought this this year I wanted to have this man this one is just so much refreshing take on Dior Sauvage which is already refreshing but the added grapefruit in this makes this one so much more uh, easy going you know like less pepper less embrox and it's just more uh, fruity citrusy juicy uh, version of Dior Sauvage is this the best Dior Sauvage version uh, I would say all of them have the same DNA but if you want one for summer and you don't want to carry a heavy bottle this would be your uh, like go-to guy it still has the ambroxan great but this fragrance just easy to carry on gym bag and it's it just the sprayers are massive the sprayers you know fall in love with you just need one here one there that's it cover for seven to eight hours Dior Sauvage very cool spray one of the best buys okay that was number 11 let's go from number 10 number 10 is the robot 
Parkour Avant Phantom. You see, I had a uh, scandal uh, Purom by was the house scandal Purom by Karina Herrera, I think. Scandal, scandal. Oh man, scandal is from oh, sorry, Jean Paul Gaultier. Okay, and I uh, gave it away. Okay, I liked it a lot. I reviewed it. I loved it. It's a dumb reach. It's very, very unique uh, in a way. It got this super sweetness, but I preferred this over that one. And I kept the robot, you know, Phantom. It's just love for the bottle <laughs> the, you have to give it that you know i mean if some people say hey it's not pretty i mean you you know in your heart this is cool but apart from that the smell is really nice it's sweet it's potent uh yes i love the fact that it gets a lot of hate so it makes it kind of polarizing people get to talk about it perhaps it's selling a lot and number 10 today i'm going to show you pakaravan phantom one of the best buys this year let's go with the sweet trend let's go with my favorite Invictus V Victory and these are by rankings of course it's gonna get better uh, as we go but all these fragrances are good okay so I'm telling you you can try any of them you might like these better than the, my top five you yeah. know see this is how fragrance uh, taste works this is just sweet if you like Pakuraban Pure Excess Night if you like Pure Excess if you like a lot of these other sweet perfumes but you want a little bit better build you know a little bit more wearable not choking you this fragrance does it it has this kind of like a vanilla which is fluffy which is nice and it does pick compliments compliment beast okay this is perhaps the best uh, likable likable version of uh, invictus okay invictus victory number nine number eight my love this is the fragrance nobody will show you because not many people have it and this fragrance it's like i think it's called polo uh it's not polo green it's polo something cologne you know i don't have the box but i'll write down the name this is the new release. Uh, this is more modern formulation of polo green. Doesn't smell like anything like polo green. This is like a sweet, citrusy, and kind of like upper class version of polo green, which is modern. You know, polo green is great, but too animalic. You know, leather, uh, animalic touches, smoke, pine needle. This one has some greenery, but with citrus, which makes it very wearable, very modern, very lovely. I plan to wear this for winter, and this is one of my best buys this year, hands down. Polo uh green something cologne intense cologne or something okay but this is the new uh bottle of polo green that i got very very modern that's number eight number seven yeah i told you guys i am gonna feature this perhaps because it's very unique this is philip plain no limits okay uh the thing is the bottle design and everything just i had to do it you know like it's so unique and the smell is just so beautiful it got this leather it got some sweetness it got a lot of thing going on you know it's like not your typical fragrance it has the spices and it got this uh the, the leather is just very masculine and in a way people compare to gucci guilty absolute but for me this is more wearable okay last decent time and it's a very very uh gutsy fragrance many people just see they call this the ultimate leather jacket uh fragrance okay but for me i have better than this but I dig this fragrance. Okay, one of the best buys, Philip Plain. Uh, 10 out of 10 for creativity. Okay, no limits. That's number seven. Number six, I told you this is my list. Hugo Boss. Okay, Hugo Boss says this fragrance is called Hugo Boss uh, number six, Eau de Parfum. I think, yeah, the, the, so many, you know, like the names get confusing. I cannot remember all the names, but the smell, you know, this is very underrated. If you ever try this, you will actually see is different and what they're doing with the DNA of Hugo Boss bottle. This one doesn't smell like Hugo Boss bottle, but better, you know, uh, it's just so much more upgraded. Check out my review, it smells phenomenal, okay? One of the best releases in recent times, Hugo Boss bottled EDP, okay? That's the name I remember, <laughs> okay? Next one is the only joint entry. I could not leave one and uh, like over the other, okay? Both of these are good from different price tags and from different budgets but basically smells a lot alike. These two I bought this year, Mercedes-Benz Select Night, and this is Tom Ford Noir Femme. Both of these are very similar to Tom Ford Noir Extreme, which I bought long time back. And this actually is a better version of that. Tom Ford Noir Femme, I just love it so much. It has this added depth over that Noir Extreme, which has that cool feet, cardamom. This one is just so much better, you know, just so much better. I'm telling you, I love it so much more in the colder months. Put it on your neck, See the sillage and you smell yourself it moves around the air amazing if you can't afford it a little bit more fluffy version is select night this is so good the fragrance that i showed you this one beaten the rest of them right yeah it's not budget that decides the fragrance for me it's the smell okay 
Mercedes Benz Select Night, check out the bottle as well. Both of them are gorgeous. And if you cannot afford this, you can opt for it. Even if some people would like this better because there's more wearable version of this one. Amazing joint entry at number five. So number four, it's another uh, fragrance which is not new, but I love it. This is Chanel Elirum Sport Cologne. Yeah, this is not the right time to wear it. It's basically for summer. It's just so refreshing. It's lemon heaven. You know, if you like citrus, part of this is the best citrus based fragrance in designer game. Hands down. Look at this quality bottle look at the class of it it's just a very sophisticated high class fragrance i just love it you know many people may feel this bit overpriced doesn't last you just go nose blind that's what happens with it uh, just a nice little perfume high class all the way chanel Elurum sport cologne number four number three number two number one big big names number three armani stronger with you absolutely what else can I talk I like say about this one you guys know it's like a more uh, like rounded version of stronger with you uh, and the thing is like I like intensely for the performance this one doesn't have the projection of the intensely but longevity wise very close but what it does it has a little bit of booziness a little bit more uh, mature sweetness if I may say so over the intensely which it makes it like nicer okay I love the leather this one intensely all the same but I bought it this year so stronger with you absolutely for winter time this is niche quality juice if you love sweet perfumes okay this is hands down the best armani release okay in recent times stronger with you absolutely by emporio armani number two and number one what could be the number two number one number two and number one are my personal favorites uh many of the fragrance i bought maybe people will not agree with me but uh these are my choices right number two is Givenchy gentlemen Boise. I picked it over the ADT Intense because I love the smell of it. Um, this line, all the fragrances are good. I mean, like if you get the cologne, uh, which I bought last year, the EDT, and I have the EDT Intense, EDP, all of them, I bought it over the last few years. This year, I got this one in the EDT Intense. The smell of this reminds me of CH Men Privé and then Durham Intense, the original Givenchy Gentleman. Just a stunner. Okay, it's just so good in terms of smell, perhaps this is the best from the darker side, okay, in this line. But the performance wise, I think EDP lasts longer than this, but this fragrance, man, it's so good. Wait for the discounters to hit, uh, this one to hit the discounters, then you get it. Amazing fragrance, okay. Givenchy, Gentleman, Boise, number two. Check out my full review on that. And number one, what is my number one? This fragrance by far by far i mean by far you know like not just oh second one first one has so much competition no this fragrance has no competition and uh i'm saying it from sentiments because fragrance are about sentiments i don't want to hype it too much this is bulgari's legem tiger okay legeme tiger or legem tiger one of the fragrances dream come true fragrance for this year you know i i'll tell you a little bit i got a little bit greedy uh this fragrance i praised it a lot i'll Keep reviewing this more and more compared with this one that one i'll do like aventus comparison savage office jeremy you know like jeremy's office for man this fragrance is just so good those who have it these are 350 dollar cologne from house of bulgari you know and that's what makes it designer but the thing is it's so simple this fragrance is so simple it has grapefruit ambroxan and woodsy notes okay and would imagine like such a simple fragrance for that much money just for this bottle and box presentation no performance you know there's a fragrance called afternoon swim or afternoon swim by louis vuitton uh, that one gets outperformed by this you get a little bit nose blind with it because the ambroxan but man when i wear this you know when i walk it gives me more com like not compliments more confidence than aventus does okay go figure you know if you find a good deal like 250 dollars or somewhere do ignore that brand uh, name bulgari you might think oh their fragrance are 50 dollars no Sometimes Bulgari can make a masterpiece, which is this one. Le Gemme Tiger, my number one purchase this year for designer side. So these are my top 20 designer purchases of 2021. What do you think? Which ones do you like? Which ones are your favorite? Which ones did you buy? Do let the others know. Thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for all your support. You know, I will do a niche edition soon. And perhaps maybe a couple more lists for winter just to get some views. <laughs> just kidding. Have a nice day and happy holidays to all of you. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.